If there's one universal need in this digital age, it's storage. We want storage. We want a lot of storage. We want fast storage, which is why we've stopped here at Synology in the South Hall. I'm speaking with Patrick, who's going to explain what Synology is doing to make your storage not just storage. Now, Patrick, that's sort of a cryptic way of saying Synology has really grown past what you used to be. Just maybe five years ago, you were a storage company. You made yeah. great storage network attached products, yeah. but you've been growing past that. Tell me a little bit about what's been happening with Synology over the last year or so. Well, I think what you're starting to see is that the term NAS, which we've used in the past, it's getting difficult to even apply that to our products, where in the past it meant network attached storage. Now, that industry, it could include everything going from kind of some small time capsule all the way up to what we're doing. And we provide a lot of different applications, so you can watch videos on all of your TVs, you could set up a mail server at home, a DNS server. So what we're finding these days is actually the term NAS, maybe we need to redefine it to something like networking applications and storage. And I think Synology really does lead the field in this because, as you mentioned, there's been a lot of boxes out there that do NAS, network attached storage, yeah. but then they have a little extra horsepower, so maybe you would run an email client on it, or oh, yeah. maybe you would run a media server. Yeah. With Synology's products, especially some of the newer ones, there's so much extra horsepower and there's so much flexibility built into the plug-in system oh, yeah. that the storage is almost a second thought. It's my NAS box at home. It's actually my, my, uh, my container. It, it allows me to run all my containers so I can run a browser in a container. It allows me to run my DNS server. It allows me to run my storage server. Yep. It allows me to run my VPN. Yep. And it's sort of like I'm buying that and then I'm getting a NAS in addition to that. Yeah. Oh, no, totally. I mean, actually, you just said everything that I could possibly say about it. Um, these days, when you look at our NAS um, application ecosystem, we have over 100 applications that you can easily download and install. Most of them come for free. Um, some of the really interesting things that we've been playing around with recently is the idea of collaboration. Um, you know, people, the way they work these days is they want to collaborate in real time. They want to work on a document or a spreadsheet and I don't want to have to close it and then email it to you and then you open it and you make your changes and then you email it back to me. So what we're doing is we've actually made some applications called um, Office and Chat and what that does is it gives you, allows you to actually run your own um, private cloud productivity applications where you and I could be writing a document at the same time in the browser and all of it is happening on your Synology device. So it doesn't have to be stored on some mysterious third party server wherever you don't know where it is. Uh, the members of our uh, Twit army are very, very familiar with this. In fact, there's people who watch Know How and uh, Security Now with Leo Laporte and Steve Gibson who are saying, wait a minute, I can host my own web services. So I can use my own box for email, my own box for chat, and it can be all encrypted, and I'm the only one who holds the keys. That's, I think, one of the things that Synology really enables. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit about that collaboration because I want to talk about something that last year blew me away, and that was Synology's release of their first ever router, the 1900 AC. Oh, yeah. Fantastic product, we've recommended it to our audience. I run one at home. It's, it's probably the best router I've ever had and I use it for more than just routing. Again, it's got my VPN, it's got a media server, it's got a DNS server. You've updated it. Yeah. Tell me about this one, because this is a monster, it's beautiful, and uh, I want to know what it can do. Well, um, this is our new router, as you mentioned. It's called the RT2600AC. Uh, it should be released in the U.S. Uh, later this month. Um, as you can probably tell, if you're a router aficionado from the name, it's a 2600 class router. That means that um, when you have both of the bands running, you could get up to uh, 2.5 gigabits of simultaneous um, uh, connectivity. Um, and it comes with all like the newest Wave 2, 4x4 MUMIMO, all the specs that you want from a router in this class. But I mean, as you've been mentioning, the really special thing about Synology is our software. And I don't know, I remember going to my sister's house one time and she asked me to look into the router and I logged in there and it's some 20 year old web page that hasn't been updated forever. And I can't imagine, she's like a nurse, you know? I can't imagine how she's gonna do this. So we've taken our expertise from making a user-friendly operating system for our NAS, and we've applied that same experience to the router, um, our router over here. Um, just 
in the in order to provide a, a really easy, intuitive user um, experience for anybody who might not really know about networking or how to log into a router backend. And that was one of the things that impressed us about the RT nineteen hundred and now the new twenty six hundred, which is. It's a router that an expert will love because I can do things like I can find out exactly how much every device yeah. is using on my network or how much every service is using on my network. I can do per user lockout, yep. but also this device will update itself. I can set it up for my, my parents and say, don't ever touch it, it will take care of itself. Yep. But I got to ask, this is kind of a pricey device. I mean, we're talking about about $300 for this, which is where the other router started. Yep. Why would I buy that? If, if I was an end user, if I was a typical consumer, how would you sell me on buying what, to me, sounds like it's too high end of a device? It's something that's way overkill. Okay. Well, um, first of all, the, the pricing in the US hasn't been officially announced yet, but it should be more something like 220, okay. which I believe is actually pretty reasonable when it comes to a 2600 class router. Um, now, the thing that you, you, you mentioned a little bit ago is the fact that um, you can run your VPN server on this, you can run DNS server, you can actually use our application called CloudStation. So this could become your, your file syncing hub um, so that you could sync files from your computer to your phone, back to the router, and you can access them from anywhere. And then when it comes to managing the network, um, well, this comes with application layer QoS. Have you heard of that before? Um, and what that does is, with old traditional routers, if you wanted to limit, if I wanted to limit your bandwidth, the only thing I could do would be to select your device and say, this device can only use so much bandwidth. But with layer seven, actually, I can go a step further and I can say, when this device is using something like this music playing app, restrict the bandwidth. But let him use all the bandwidth he wants to at, when he's using other applications. Now. A couple of years ago, if you wanted a feature like this, you would have had to buy some really expensive, dedicated, professional level hardware. So for that, I'd say this is a pretty good deal. And actually, that's you know something that we really tried to do at Synology is bring these professional level applications down to the ordinary enthusiast user space. Yeah. Patrick, thank you very much for speaking with us. Now, if they wanted to find out more about Synology products, everything from your NASs that are more than NASs to your routers, where can they go? Oh, well, they could uh, go to our website, www.synology.com, or they could also follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks again for your time. Yeah. Synology, it's not just storage anymore. <laughs>